Today we're covering the RootMe CTF on TryHackMe. If you enjoy it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share it with your friends, and let's get at it. Okay, so after you get your OpenVPN up, we're gonna go to the RootMe room, and we're gonna join it. And now after we join it, uh, we're just gonna start the machine. And this might take a minute, so I'll see you guys soon. So now that we have our IP, we're gonna open up this reconnaissance tab. Uh, first, we're gonna create a directory called RootMe to work out of. Uh, that's not it. CD into it. And then we're going to perform a initial nmap scan using uh, the simple script version, ignoring host discovery, and then outputting it into a file called initial nmap uh, using this IP address. And I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so we have port 22 SSH open and port 80 running Apache. Uh, we see it created a PHP session ID, um, which we probably should keep in mind when further enumerating. Uh, going back to the reconnaissance tab on Try Hack Me, scan the machine, how many ports are open? Um, we only did the top 1000 ports, so we can hope that it's just two. And that is correct. Uh, we also have this answer, what version of Apache is running, and that's right here, um, 2.4.29. What service is running on port 22? Uh, that is SSH. And then now it's wanting us to use GoBuster to enumerate um, basically like unlinked directories. Uh, so we can perform that by doing gobuster dir hack u and then the URL, which is 10, 10, 2, 3, 8, 1, 4, 4, and then specifying a word list. And I'm going to use uh, sec list. Um, discovery, web content. Let's go with the directory list 2.3 medium and let this run. So we see that we have a uploads directory, a CSS, which is normal, um, JavaScript, which is normal. Find directories on the web series. Okay, so we'll mark that as completed while this still scans. And I'm gonna let this run and I'll see you guys soon. Cool, so our other one that just popped up was panel. Um, so we're gonna try and type in whack panel and submit this. Cool. So according to this, our reconnaissance is complete. Okay, so our next step uh, is to get a shell. So we'll open this next directory. Um, first, we're going to want to open up the actual web page. Uh, so we can just go to this IP and we're prompted with this banner or GIF or, or something. Uh, we can take a look at the source code. Again, JavaScript, CSS, nothing really right here. Typewrite, nothing really uh, eye popping. Um, we can try going to uh, WAC uploads and see that it's, we can see the directory index. Um, so we might want to keep this one open. Uh, then we'll open another directory and actually go to this panel page. Uh, where there is a unauthenticated file upload page that we can 
potentially take advantage of. If you did not remember, uh, we can go back to our initial nmap scan and see that it created PHP session IDs. Um, so we know the, uh, the, the application, the web application is running PHP. Uh, generally from here, I would attempt to upload a PHP reverse shell uh, payload, um, not knowing if there's any file extension restriction. So we can just go ahead and attempt that. Uh, generally on Kali boxes, you can just locate PHP reverse shell. Um, I'll just use this first one, copy it into my current directory. And we're going to open that one up. And this uh, is created by PentestMonkey. You, uh, you can Google it. He has multiple uh, reverse shells. Uh, what we're going to want to do is change this IP to our OpenVPN callback address, which would be and uh, six dot forty dot one three four. Once you put your correct IP in, uh, we can go ahead and save that. And then um, we're going to go ahead and copy this one to our know, var temp file and go back to this browse location. And we'll go to my computer, var temp, and then upload this PHP reverse shell. Uh, we're going to start a listener beforehand on 8888, I think was the port that we specified, and upload the file. So red, red generally means bad. Uh, I'm just going to assume this is not permitted. Uh, EHP file extension is not permitted. So what we can do is attempt to bypass the filter in place. So there are multiple ways to bypass uh, filter restrictions. Um, you can do uppercase, lowercase, kind of like schematic. Uh, for PHP specifically, you can rename PHP to PHP like three or PHP four or PHP five. Um, you can do null byte injection, which is uh, when you use percent zero zero after PHP and then throwing in another file extension like GIF or something. Um, another way is just simply doing dot PHP dot HTML. Um, so uh, I think we're just gonna attempt to just rename the file extension to uh, PHP five or something. Um, we can go ahead and try this. And then we're going to attempt to upload it. Oh, whoops. Yeah. And we can see that worked. And then we should check that uploads directory if it actually did it and it, it worked. Um, so we'll, we'll start a N netcat listener on port 8888, which we specified in this PHP reverse shell. And then all we have to do is, is click on this and we can see we actually have a shell in the box. Um, from here, we can do a who am I? And we'll probably be the um, WW data user. Uh, print working directory, we're in the root of the file system. Um, but let's go back to the try hackney page. So our objective is to find the flag, which is user.txt. Uh, a quick way to do this would just be to use find, uh, specify the root of the directory, tag name, user.txt, and then pipe all the dev null. And hopefully we find it. And there we go. 
So we'll just cat this out. And there's our flag. Boom. So going into privilege escalation. Okay, so for our next task, we're supposed to search for files with SUID permission and look for which file is weird. Um, again, we can do the find command by doing find, specifying the root directory, and then only looking for files um, with the user root, and then looking for permission values of 4,000, which specifies the suet bit, and then piping or suppressing all errors to devnull. And looking through this list. So just quickly scrolling up, um, the thing that pops out the most is user bin Python, uh, which means Python has a suet bit set, uh, which we can use for privilege escalation. So my first spot is to generally go to uh, GTFO bins and search for Python. Um, and then we're gonna specify suet. And for us, in order to take advantage of this, we're gonna have to execute this line of code. So we'll just copy this and hit enter. And then from here, we'll do a ID and who am I? And you escalated privileges, congratulations. And then from here, we'll go to try hack me. Um, our next task is to find root.txt. Uh, so we can try and CD into whack root. Uh, print working directory, we're there, lstechal, um, and then cat root.txt. And there's our final flag. And we'll go ahead and submit that. And the room is done. Congratulations. This was a fun one. Uh, the root me CTF is aimed at beginners. Um, so I highly recommend you try it out if you're new. Uh, there's various learning opportunities and, and different avenues to approach it as well. Go ahead and root this machine and I'll catch you guys on the next one.